All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you, book with my December 2015 update video, part two. So yeah, I'm just sitting here in my car out by uh, Grand Lake St. Mary's here in Salina, Ohio. Uh, just going over, giving you guys a little bit of update on what's going on uh, YouTube-wise as well as personal-wise. But it's mostly going to be personal because of reasons I'll get into later. But basically, like, I've been very busy as of late, you know, getting personal stuff taken care of so I haven't had as much time to devote to YouTube stuff as I, I would like but uh, hopefully that's going to change soon but um, in the meantime uh, pers in my personal life um, as you guys know I already got an apartment all squared away up in Portage Michigan which is just a couple miles south of uh, Kalamazoo Michigan where I'm going to go into school at so um, I start in January of 2016 so uh, next month I'm getting the rest of my classes and stuff squared away for that. Um, <laughs> I should have gotten it squared away earlier, but you know, the whole uh, sign up process for it was kind of complicated and I didn't really know what I needed. This past weekend, my mom and I went up to uh, Western, Western Michigan, where I'm going to be going to school at. We did like the orientation thing, but because it was for the spring semester, which is uh, primarily when a lot of transfer students come over instead of just fresh new faces you know the uh, celebration stuff wasn't as big as i'd expected because there wasn't as many people and like the first couple panels and stuff were pretty disorganized there's a lot of people coming in late and not explaining stuff and just basically doing like a q a oh the sun's, co sun's coming out again <laughs> so you can see how white i am <laughs> but anyway um yeah so the first couple panels were pretty uh pretty thrown together so we were kind of discouraged by that but then we went to the uh the va office the veterans affairs office you know finally got to get some face time with people i've been corresponding with uh on email for a while and uh it just you know it felt great you know to actually touch base with them and stuff like that and you know they kind of taught me some things things i needed to uh submit still you know for extra grants and money and whatnot so uh, I already took care of that, still in the process of getting it all sorted out, but you know, hey, that's that's extra money, you know, so that's great, because I'm going to be signing up for a business major, so I went over to the business college out there, met with everybody, it was very professional, of course, you know, business, <laughs> but they have like uh, collaborations with a lot of, you know, major name uh, companies and stuff like that, you know, they do like internships and you know stuff like that so you know I'll, I'll pretty much I mean you know knock on wood you know I'll pretty much have a job lined up by the time I graduate so I mean at least that's the plan anyway so really excited about that really excited to be starting school again for the first time since uh, 2006 actually was the was when I started at uh, Urbana University now I started there in fall of 2006 and then I uh, got kicked out in the spring of 2007. It's kind of funny because it's like it's almost 10 years after I started at Urbana that uh, I'll be starting college again and uh, you know I think now I'm in a much better place in my life to actually you know get my shit together get a degree go out get a job and do other things as well so I'm um, really looking forward to it you know it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be some ring rust as it were to you know get back into the the groove of things for college you know because like i said i've been out of the whole college thing for almost a decade so you know like math and things like that i'm really wasn't good at it then i'm probably worse off now once i shake off all that stuff i think we'll be good to go because i'm in a, a much better frame of mind this time around versus then a lot of the issues that i had back then were money related so, you know, like not having enough money to go to college, not having enough money to, you know, eat, things like that. So, you know, <laughs> it's usual college gripes and things like that. But I think a lot of that's going to be taken care of once the uh, post 9-11 kicks in. I get my BH and stuff like that. But for now, you know, I'm going to have to be living a l little bit leaner than I was used to, you know, being in the Navy, getting a lot of d disposable income and stuff like that. So um, I'll have to buckle down a bit more because uh, I cut into my uh, my savings a bit more than I expected during my stay out here. And that's kind of, you know, the curse of uh, having that long of a break in between getting out and going to college, you know. 
On one hand, I think it was kind of great that I got the break because it allowed me to uh, reacclimate myself to civilian life. It allowed me to, you know, reboot my way of thinking and structure and stuff like that. But on the other hand, you know, I got bored really quickly because my friends are working nine to five jobs now and they've all moved out of Salina. So, you know, it would be very difficult for me to, you know, see them again. And I want to see them again, but, you know, like I said, we're at different part points in our life now, you know, they, they've long since graduated from college and they're not necessarily well established, but they're fairly established in their field, you know, family, of course, and, you know, a lot of my friends have kids now and wives and husbands and stuff like that. So there's that. And, you know, me, single guy, fresh out of the Navy. So, you know, <laughs> You know, going back to back to college and stuff um, yeah and I also turned 30 in the beginning of December December 7th a day to remember <laughs> a day that will live in infamy as it were with turning 30 you know there's a lot to it hasn't really completely dawned on me but it's starting to in little chunks day by day and it's just like you know you have to change your mentality because you know I'm no longer a 20 something you know trying to figure his life out you know I'm a 30 something and it's more about um, it's less about figuring out who you are and more about um, just getting yourself established that's not to say you know you should have all your shit figured out by the time you're 30 it's just you should have a clear picture of where you want to be and you know mileage may vary of course but uh, you know for me you know my 20s were a very experimental time in my life you know I tried a lot of different things, you know, visited a lot of different places and just, you know, broaden my horizons, all that, all that cliche stuff, you know, and I still want to travel, you know, I, I really love making travel videos, you know, that was something that really inspired me to make videos in the first place because, you know, the first series of videos that really inspired me to make videos were like the original JVlog videos where, I mean, if you break it down a JVlog video, or a J-vlog, rather. It's kind of redundant to say that, but, uh, you know, a J-vlog is like uh, a travel video in Japan. I really enjoyed how they did things and just them talking about Japan and Japanese stuff, and it just, you know, it was really interesting to me. When I was starting off on YouTube, I decided to uh, to kind of do videos in the J-vlog style, but for uh, local things. Salina may not be that interesting to me or most other people, but uh, there are some people that are like, well, what's America like? You know, they have that same interest in America that I did and still do in Japan. And so I tried to make my videos like a J-Vlog style, and that's what really inspired the whole Life in Video series, was just like my you know, ham-fisted attempt at making an Americanized J-Vlog style video. A Life in Video series has also went all around the world as well, you know, to different parts of the world, you know, different parts of Asia, Australia. Really wanted to do Europe, but uh, just wasn't in the cards, at least during my time in the Navy. You know, hopefully I'll be able to go do like a European trip or something like that. It's definitely something I want to do. But uh, for now, it's just not in the cards, you know, so don't expect it anytime soon. But there is one thing that I really want to do, and it's kind of a bucket list material for me. And I don't know if I'm going to do it this year or next, but uh, and by this year, I mean 2016 because 2015 is already over. But I digress. Anyway, so there is some bucket list material that I do want to do in the nearish future. And that is travel across America by train. Um, I, I uh, read this blog by a travel blogger and he kind of outlined how he traveled across America by train and like how much it cost. It was very interesting because, you know, I, <laughs> to be honest with you, I really don't like driving. Like if it's local or something like that, fine, great, cool. But like traveling long distances, I hate it, you know, you know as far as driving goes. Now, if I'm riding the train or something like that, all right, cool. You know, I kind of get into a rhythm when it comes to stuff like that, you know, trying to find a seat and, you know, making sure the battery for my phone, the little USB battery is hooked up to my phone so I don't run out of power and stuff like that. You know, I, I got like a rhythm going. But basically, you know, my brain is occupied with other things rather than, you know, driving and 
making sure I don't hit people and stuff like that. I think, uh, you know, riding, riding a train through America, I'll be able to see so many different sights and I'll be able to enjoy them a lot more in the moment because, you know, I won't have to worry about driving. You know, I can just, oh, we're by the Grand Canyon or whatever the case may be, you know, snap, 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 take pictures. You know, of course, you know, if I do eventually do it, um, I do want to make a video of it, but I also want to take pictures and stuff like that. So um, that's definitely something for the bucket list in the fairly, uh, imme not immediate, but you know, the, the soonish future. So I'm really excited about that. But aside from, you know, future plans and stuff like that, you know, with moving and all that, just getting everything all sorted. And uh, like I said, already got an apartment, already got the keys and all that stuff. I've been busy moving as much as I could in my car up there you know we made two trips one was when i got the apartment and the second one was this past weekend when my mom and i visited uh western so we just dropped off a couple of boxes and stuff whatever we could fit in the back and then came back home now this weekend i'm going to be getting a little u-haul trailer to uh, get the rest of my stuff which is mostly uh you know big you know bigger items like you know, my bed, my couch, my new futon, table, and some boxes and stuff like that too. But uh, it's gonna be a lot less now because we already took so many boxes and stuff. So um, yeah, that's pretty much just gonna be my weekend this coming weekend, you know, busy moving. And once I get all moved in and settled into my new apartment, which should probably take like maybe like a week or two, depending, I do want to get some things going for my channel you know, set up some, some some kind of a schedule, I guess, you know, for certain things like my Andy Cade channel, which is my Let's Play channel. I really want to get that thing off the ground. It's just uh, with school and whatnot, um, it's going to be difficult, but I do want to get it off the ground. And uh, as long as I can set up certain times to do it, you know, I, th I think I can I can pull it off. And I also need to work on my commentary a bit more. I realized that kind of looking over the early episodes of Andy Cade, I was like, you know, <laughs> so I really need a lot of help, you know, developing my Let's Play channel. And I've been looking at a lot of other Let's Play channels because that's pretty much what I what I watch nowadays. You know, I still tune in to J vloggers and my friends and stuff like that. But, you know, it's primarily uh, Let's Players, you know, the you know, mostly the more laid back let's players like Game Grumps and uh, Super Beard Bros. Um, Super Best Friends is kind of hit or, hit or miss depending on what they do. Um, Two Best Friends is pretty good too. And of course, you know, you got the big names, you know, like Markiplier and Jacksepticeye and PewDiePie and stuff like that. But um, I, for those, especially those particular three, I don't, it, this is going to sound really weird and I don't want you know you guys to rag on me for it it's just my opinion take it or leave it whatever <laughs> but i don't really like uh their let's play videos to be honest with you i i just don't like that style of humor it's a little too much it's a little too exaggerated you know it's just you know scream after scream after scream <laughs> it's like there's no there's no build up to it it's just bah, 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 you know stuff like that and it can get a little uh, draining to watch those types of videos because they have to be like constantly on all the time. But the one thing I do like about those guys is their, um, I gotta find the right word, but like transparency, honesty, I guess, in talking about their channel and talking about themselves and just the way that they open up their lives to us. You know, like Markiplier is a great example of this. You know, there's some Let's Plays of his that I like. I kind of like the Honey uh, Honey Pop stuff. I've been liking his run with Super Mario Maker. You know, I know it's an overused Let's Play title, but I still like it. But I really enjoy his, uh, you know, just his life vlogs or where he talks about issues or something like that, whatever, whatever you want to call it. You know, just his non-Let's Play stuff. And, you know, talking about his, do his new dog, Chica, and stuff like that and he's he recently came back to ohio because he's actually 
I mean, he wasn't born in, o in Ohio. He he lived out here for a long time. So, you know, it's kind of cool to see, you know, one of the, the big names on YouTube is from your home state. It's like, it's so cool, you know? <laughs> and then my best friend actually went to middle school with him, didn't even know it. So I'm just like, dude, you went to school with Markiplier? That's so cool, you know? I just kind of gushed and was like, oh, man. You know, because to me, it's like, you know, it's like if I went to school with Ego Raptor or something like that. It's like, oh my God, you know, those guys are like, you know, my YouTube heroes. You know, and I'm gushing, I'm fanboying, I realize that. Yeah, man, it's just, yeah, I, what I'm doing with the whole Let's Play thing is just kind of cherry picking uh, different things that I like about their channels and how they do business on YouTube. And then, you know, just kind of discarding the stuff I don't like, just trying to organize it as far as like how I want to approach things. Because I prefer the, uh, like, the Grumps more laid-back style, or it's just them talking all the time. But at the same time, there's, there's a lot of parts in there where it's not necessarily dead air, but it's just, you know, it's not very interesting. It's a lot of grinding, and that's kind of the nature of some of the games they play. So, you know, it is what it is. You know, I want to take their laid-back style and kind of you know, incorporate some of the more mainstream uh, Let's Players, you know, like PB and Jeff, uh, Peanut Butter Gamer and Space Hamsters co-Let's Play channel is a great example of how they do this. You know, they have like the little edits and stuff like that. They put the text on the screen and they skip over a lot of the boring parts, but I just don't want it to be, you know, a big scream fest where I'm playing like Insomnia and Soma and, you know, Five Nights at Freddy's and I'm not really interested in that kind of stuff, you know. My angle is more towards uh, the retro games or retro style games. I know, super original, you know. Who doesn't do those types of games? I know. That's the kind, those are the kind of games I'm really interested in, you know. It's just, you know, games from my childhood and then, you know, some of the newer retro style games like Shovel Knight is a great example. Phantom Breakers Battlegrounds, another great example, one of the it was the second game that I played, which I'm going to be picking up a lot of those series soon. Be finishing them up. But basically, I just want to retool the whole Andy Cade uh, style, I guess, of videos. And, you know, I've just been writing down different things I want to do, different things I don't want to do. And I'm hoping to uh, do collaborations, of course. You know, I'm always down for collaborations. But, you know, again, it's got to rely a lot on timing. If they're in the area, is another thing but of course with online gaming you know we can kind of bridge that gap a bit more but you know it's <laughs> it's a little iffy but uh, anyway um i know i'm you know rambling on about stuff like that and uh you know in more youtube -y news i guess just to kind of wrap up this whole section uh you know i am planning something very big a major announcement for next year because next year is going to mark my 10th anniversary on YouTube and uh, I really want to do something something major to uh, kind of shake things up as far as you know my channel goes and to you know help push me forward into you know the next decade of content creation whatever you want to call it <laughs> i hate using that word content it's just i mean it is what it is but i just i hate using it. it sounds very to me it sounds very pretentious you know i'm a content creator you know you got to create the best content and it's just ugh. i don't like it i like it <laughs> so uh, but anyway i do want to do something you know very big and i'm you know in the middle of preparing for it I'm not going to announce anything just yet because I'm still in the middle of getting it ready. When the time is right, I will uh, reveal it to you. Now that we've gotten the uh, the YouTube -y stuff out of the way, like I said, with uh, with personal life stuff, you know, I'm going to be moving this weekend, going to be starting school. Um, I do want to set up, you know, my New Year's resolution is to set up a fairly set schedule for YouTube stuff. You know, so that way you guys aren't like, when's the next video coming out? I don't know, dude. Other things I want to do beyond youtube -y stuff is I really want to get into podcasting. And I know I've mentioned this before on earlier videos. I do want to get into podcasting. And I'm, you know, I, I got a pretty solid idea of what I want to do. It's just a matter of, you know, getting it lined up. And again, 
with podcasting more than YouTube because YouTube is a little more forgiving. But podcasting, you have to have a fairly set schedule with stuff like that because it's very, it's got to come out, you know, once a week at this time on this day. You know, it's very regimented more so than YouTube, which is saying something because YouTube's starting to get there too. But anyway, I do want to start a podcast. I'm, it's still in the developmental stage. You know, I got a, I got a good idea. I just need to get a name for it, branding, getting guests lined up. That's going to be a, another big one for my podcast. And just the general uh, structure of the show. The general gist of it without actually giving away what the subject is. But it's basically just going to be like an interview style podcast where... It's going to be probably like 45 minutes to an hour is what I'm shooting for. And, you know, if I start talking with the guest a bit more and we start getting into stuff a bit more, then it can go on a little longer. But it's at least 45 minutes to an hour. That's my goal per episode. And I want to do it like one episode a week. But again, it depends on guests, you know, when I can get them on and stuff like that. But the basic structure is going to be like me introducing the episode you know i also want to get sponsors and stuff involved you know so that way i can not only support the podcast but also begin to uh, support myself you know because i'm no longer in the navy and at the time it's recording i don't have a job yet i'm going to be getting one of those so <laughs> don't think you know oh i just i quit my job to you know work on youtube you know i'm you know, I'm being realistic about it, but still, you know, I need a little bit of kickback so that way, anyway, you know, I, I shouldn't talk about money on YouTube. You know, it's the cardinal sin of YouTube is talking about money. But anyway, um, so the idea is, you know, I'll do the intro, you know, give the sponsor plug, you know, when we get sponsors, and then hit into the interview, do a wrap up, and then episode. So I know, groundbreaking format, but that's the general idea. Um, so I do want to get some content creators, and I hate using that word, but I do want to get some of them on because that's kind of going to be the uh, the theme of my podcast, you know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But that's pretty much what I want to talk to you guys about in this rambly, extremely long episode. Jesus, Ooh, that's insane, man. And uh, I'm sure my mom's wondering where the hell I am, you know, because dinner's going to be soon. It's getting dark and cloudy. and <laughs> So that's, uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to say in this rambly, extremely long um, update video. So with that said, this is the Andy Son signing out for now. Thanking you guys, Poop, for tuning in to this, like I said, rambly, long, <laughs> tangent-filled uh uh, update video and for watching my other stuff also want to thank you guys for liking the thumbs commenting subscribing send a few friends to the party and hey as always we'll see you next time catch you later guys bye see you in portage bye